Hello everyone, and uh, welcome to Let's Play Planet Fall with me, Dogbog, on Breaking the Stream. I uh, kind of wanted to run another um, series tandem with uh, the one you're seeing from Syndra. Uh, I figured it, it couldn't hurt, right, to see two different kind of galactic empires going and being built at the same time. Uh, I would love for that to have been multiplayer, but, you know, it ends the ropes. Um, and so, yeah, um... My intent for this playthrough is not to have uh, like a very detailed synopsis of everything that's kind of there and in the game and, and so forth. I'm going to go over some abilities when it's relevant, but for the most part I'm going to kind of speed through it and if um, uh, what I'll do is I'll link uh, some other videos uh, where the uh, person in those videos does actually go through it. There's a, a gentleman by the name of DOS Tactics uh, that is very excellent at his explanations of the game systems mechanics. I'm not going to explain some of that stuff as we go, but I'm not going to go dive into every unit ability or anything here, just to kind of keep the pace up. Uh, and then, yeah, so let's go ahead and get to it. So this is my Galactic Empire that I've created, the Vegan Parade. And you can see here I have a bit of a backstory uh, that I wrote for the vegans, that uh, the vegans, you know, were once proud race, un unparalleled ingenuity and martial prowess, uh, they achieved peace. However, there was a single vegan. Lord Vigo. Indeed, he was despised. And so, as a result, uh, everybody kind of left. <laughs> um, there's a lot more to it, but that's where I'm going to leave that. And then alone, he seeks to uh, claim, reclaim what's his. And of course, you know, he's not alone alone. He has some other people here I've created to kind of go with it. And what I've done is I kind of created every race class combination, but not every race class combination, if that makes sense. Uh, I believe every permutation, uh, unique permutation, is represented here um, by the uh, the heroes I've chosen. And so, uh, yeah, uh, I think that's going to be good as we uh, get into it. Uh, this is a very, you know, new, uh, new game mode, and what I'm going to do is going to chunk it up into 30-minute sessions. Uh, so let's get to it. Um, so... We're gonna go ahead and conquer a new world, uh, and so this is basically choosing our game. Uh, one of the things I'm gonna try and make sure I always do uh, is go to simultaneous turns. It just takes so much longer if you play it without it, and so I'll I'll probably do that. I might screw up once or twice here, but yeah, uh, we're not gonna make we're gonna make sure we're not there. Uh, so yeah, what I'm doing here is I'm looking through the worlds and seeing kind of what we want to take. So. We have uh, data centers and networked world in this first one, right? Where basically we're going to get a lot more influence uh, from those. And there's some cool secondary uh, objectives for the assembly and the synthesis here. Um, uh, in this world, Oroso, uh, we're going to have the Paragon Warlord, which is kind of cool because this can unlock the Imperial Crown. And if we go back and we take a look at the old reliquaries here, uh, the Imperial Crown unlocks it unlocks a lot of cool stuff for the Paragon. I like that reactive shielding, even though I never really use it. But this might be a cool one to start with. Uh, this too also has the data centers, but uh, it's good for the uh, Syndicate. Yeah, okay. And uh, yeah, the assembly here. So basically reach the integration level with the Paragon. I like to do that anyway. Um, and then here, this is also more assembly stuff. Uh, if we go to Thonia, this will give us uh, some extra benefits here, but if we do kind of beat this, we're going to get two relics uh, out of this. One for Hopper Hounds and one for this uh, Gene Splicer here. Uh, and then there's some secondary objectives for that. So I think those are our worlds. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and choose this Paragon Warlord here. Uh, I'm going to leave the uh, in uh, settings here. Uh, I think the default is normal. I've changed it up to hardcore because uh, this is just how we play a lot of our uh, our multiplayer games like Syndrome, myself, uh, Todd, Bog, Resi. Um, when we play, we kind of play with those settings there. Uh, make sure to do simultaneous turns uh, when we're there. And uh, yeah, we'll get to it. Uh, it seems like it chose a commander for me. Uh, I think I should probably take a, a Vigo out, whether it's uh, the Lord or the Dwarf Vigo. Uh, but as it's a syndicate type mission, I think I'm going to take my syndicate commander here, Rastlin, uh, and I am going to move in. Um, let's see, so we can do that. Let's see if there's anything in the customize. Nope. Uh, perfect. 
All right, so yeah, let's get into it without further ado. All right, so now I get to choose uh, some of the cool stuff um, that's, uh, that's part of this Empire mode. So these are like little bonuses you can have and unlock as part of the gameplay uh, by doing those secondary objectives. And you can spend that renown to actually unlock these templates as part of the gameplay, uh, which is actually kind of cool because something like with Syndicate, you have those uh, cerebral control collars. Well, those control collars uh, allow you to kind of take certain units and, you know, give them certain benefits uh, of being indentured, right? And so in this case, I think I'm going to take these Paladin Aspirants um, just so I can maybe do that if I so choose later. Uh, here for the operations, I'm just going to kind of choose one. I don't think there's any one that's in particular uh, better than the others. Um, mostly just because uh, we, I play mostly with auto battle, so I don't know the true strength of all of these things. But I'm going to choose Laser Strike uh, for this one. Uh, I'm unlikely to actually grab it. Uh, and then I grabbed the Paladin Aspirant. He actually synergizes with the Lightning that we have already. So at this point, I'm probably just going to grab the Ignition Module in the event that we have anybody that comes by with uh, lasers. All right, I think we're ready to go. Salutations, Scion of the Syndicate. Your ancestors led the earliest conquest of space, gathering fortunes and establishing aristocratic houses across the galaxy. Despite having to submit to the Star Union, wealth, influence, and a cast of servants have followed your houses to this day. Nobility brings obligations. Don't have the collapse of the Union turn you into a petty robber baron. Restore this planet to civilization. All right. Cool. So here we are. Uh, we're on the planet. Uh, we start at war uh, with the Paragon. That's interesting. Um, we would need 30 and 150. We could actually uh, propose peace as of next turn, but if you maybe we'll nip that war a little bit. Even the most Looks like we started with some tax there. Uh, gift, gift of the Aztec, which is excellent. And then another one. Uh, which I actually didn't pay attention to. <laughs> so I'll find out next turn. Uh, that looks like a Therian. So at this point, yeah, next turn I'll probably will stop our war. But ooh, we do have this here. I, I might actually keep that war going just a smidge longer. So <clears throat> what are we looking at here? What do we have? So we have our city. We have a lot of research around us and an energy exploit. So we'll probably go into food. Uh, for this primary city, and then uh, grab some extra secondary energy and so forth, uh, and then and then move on from there. And then, so what I want to do, I always like starting off with a replicator in my uh, capital. Uh, it always helps get things kind of moving. And then what I do here is, for the first few turns, I like to kind of min-max it just a smidge, but you know what, we're going to get two people. So I'm just going to up the air of the food and uh, so that we could get a new person within two turns. I'm going to try and crank out a colonizer as soon as I can. Okay, so then what's next is to just do some light exploration. Uh, yep, yeah, so I'm going to go here, grab this energy convoy with my syndicate runner, and I'm going to talk to the Therians. Uh, run with the pack, Rasslin Whiteheart, and salute the treasure ship of the illustrious Therians. You see nothing precious? Well, look again, closer, and you will notice the immense value that could be found in the gleeful freedom of our company. Hop on, and we'll hop off to our new lives and places. Just keep your guns and claws ready for any chitters we meet, or critters we meet along the way. All right. So, yeah, we'd like to get along, and let's go. Oh, no, our game is interrupted. <laughs> Fetch ball. We're playing one of our favorite games we call ball. It involves throwing the ball and retrieving the ball. Suddenly, ball levitated, shot us with angry energy weapons, and our attempts uh, to fetch it have resulted in death. Uh, please, could you bring back our ball, preferably in a less murderous floating form? All right. So we got our first quest here. Um, it's down there. I'm going to probably wait on this first quest uh, until we can uh, get some mods on my leader. Uh, syndicate units are a little squishy. Uh, it's either hit or miss if you do some auto battles with them uh, to see whether or not you're actually going to score a hit. Or rather, uh, you're going to kill anything without taking any casualties uh, as well. So... Very good. We have the Imperial Uplink. Alright, and I think we're ready to end our first turn. So what I'm going to do with our leader here is go over here and kind of scan these sites. 
Uh, and so here we just have a bunch of fungus, so we're just going to ahead and remove the fungus for a few turns. This is going to get some experience for us in a very safe way, so we can naturally kind of uh, gain some experience and keep everyone safe. Now, Syndicate's pretty cool because you start with uh, 25 uh, influence, and so after a few turns we all, we'll be able to actually annex this and get a quick early colony. Oh, there's something we're at war with, that's kind of scary. So, I'm considering <laughs> going to peace with the Paragon right away. Uh, it might be the best bet because I'm not going to be able to take a 920 stack. I was thinking if there's any quick landmarks, uh, we could do it. So you know what? I'm going to have to wait on that city. I'm just going to propose peace before they send a, um, a war party out. They can sometimes send that war party out very quickly. Uh, and so that's where I'm looking. Yeah, okay, we got area surveillance and dom or, uh, gift of the Aztec. All right. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to get some quests. We're going to be able to do said quests. But uh, for now, what I'm going to do is we got a river. Uh, I don't see many other rivers in this area, but maybe there are a few more. Uh, I'm going to grab aquatic development uh, first, and then we'll uh, end our turn. All right. Okay. Yep. So now that we made peace with the Paragons, we can actually um, start doing some quests for them. This looks like a very easy stack for us to take. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start modding up. Um, that's not true. First, I'm going to queue up a colonizer. Then I'm going to start modding up, just in case I uh, spent too much. Uh, we're going to give these guys the uh, S-Tech uh, Confiscator. Um, so that these uh, I'm sorry, these indentured are going to be able to start generating essence charges. Uh, and essence charges are going to be excellent for us. Uh, and then for our leader, I'm just going to save the rest of the Cosmite for that. So we're just going to get that ready for when we start taking on those quests. Okay, so yeah, it looks like there's a landmark there we could take. All right, and we can annex our first sector. So... I want to kind of annex down, but I might annex up because we have some good stuff up. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to annex this uh, research area first, um, and uh, hopefully we can clear that node after we're done with our quests, but Sector I'm going to predict annexed. that we're going to have like no units left by the time we're done. Um, okay, so we'll just queue up the... Uh, the food uh, exploitation in our capital, and we'll just kind of keep moving and exploring. Very good. Now we're off to turn four. All right, it should almost be done with this uh, anomalous site. We only have six turns left on our um, uh, our other quest, but we should be able to get over there in four turn or three turns and hit that. So I think we're going to just barely make it and then come back and hit the other one. Operations so. available for priming. All right, so what did we get? <laughs> wow. Uh, we kind of skipped a tier and got Dominion of Affliction. That's pretty cool. So what we've uh, located is a underground chamber. Gruesome regalia litters the chambers. The past bodies, strange artifacts, and signs of struggle in the center chamber. A sacrificial victim is strapped to the rectangular uh, stone altar. The victim appears to be maimed by a powerful compressive force, clearly a Sainumbra ritual. Okay. Uh, so, thinking about my, uh, my character, uh, syndicate leader, uh, merchant scion, you know, kind of from there. I don't think I'm going to recreate the ritual. I think I'm just going to burn this place down. <laughs> Um, but let's take a look. So our preliminary forensic investigation indicates a powerful artifact art activated this ritual. A strangely shaped knife is found in the body and is laced with complex but dormant Sinumbra attack. We believe it could be reawakened, uh, however, and reenact the initial ritual. However, judging from the stress fractures on the sacrificial body, some otherworldly entity up... Yeah, no, I'm just going to burn that down. <laughs> Perching this unholy presence. Yeah. That's the right way to do it. Syndicate are greedy, but they're not dumb. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm going to remain concealed. 
All right, cool. So we met our first neighbor here. He's not too far away, actually. So if I wanted to, I could probably pivot course and then uh, bum rush him. But you know what? I might play this a little bit slow and then just take him the old-fashioned way. Uh, yeah, so we're going to end our turn. Okay, so we got enough time. We got this here. So with our first level up, uh, with Heritor as our, si our secondary tech, I like to take Essence Harvest and Seeker. Basically, what these two in combination will do for us is allow us to uh, generate uh, charges when we defend. Uh, and then, I think, actually... Yeah, yeah, just when we defend. And then the other one allows us to uh, get in uh, energy drain on our attacks, which allows us to get more Essence Charges. And Essence Charges are great because they add 10% damage. So we have this here. I could actually grab Focus Venom. I normally don't have Focus Venom, but uh, I'm going to do that and Mantra Clarity. So what I'm doing here is uh, I'm enhancing my attack with Poison. So not only does it increase the damage, but it also changes it to a Poisonous attack, which uh, changes how the Psychic stuff works. Um, but it's only going to bypass two armor, whatever, big deal at this point. Um, however, that... Uh, and it also poisons, right, which does some dots, which is great. That combined with the Mantra of Clarity will give all of our attacks 20% additional hit rate after this attack lands, right? So our leader is going to be able to go in and kind of debuff the enemy uh, quite a bit. And the Psy Emitter that comes with this has actually got a 3 hex line attack as well as an AoE attack within, um, it basically jumps to enemies. And so what I'm going to do at this point, is now that I got this, I'm going to unequip the Arc Bola. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, re-equip our commander there. So, <clears throat> better to purge the place of the side of horror than to entertain the Sinumbra darkness. Charges uh, ignited, the rubble rained down, unsettling purple smog rose from the crater. We held our breath in the gloom, and until a less disciplined soldier laughed nervously, the troops immediately relaxed, happy to bury this one. Good job. Good job, me. This is the right call. All right. So I should probably just bowl through these guys on our way to the other people. <sighs> yeah, let's do it. Oh, there's a hidden unit. Do I want to still fight it? I think I need to hit the Therians first because then that'll give me some time to recover if I need to. Um, all right. So I got my Dominion of Purification and Affliction, that's solid. So where's my next tech going to take me? I think I want to get a Siphoner. Um, yeah. And then for our Society tech, I'm going to get food, uh, because that's what our first exploit is going to be. We have our new colonist here. Um, we could have it move against the coast, but I think, honestly, I'm going to move our first colonist down here, and then when we take this city, we're gonna move it forward and claim the, the Cosmite over there. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, oh yeah, yeah, so I'm not gonna move any closer to the, to the NPC. It's better to let them not know that we're here uh, than to, to kind of work with them like that. Um, should I take this stack? We have a good amount of power. I probably will lose something. I guess my better judgment, I'm gonna hit this stack. Good. Objective All right, it worked out completed. for us. So we were able to clear him along the way, which is excellent when we are able to do that. And I'm gonna move in such a way that I'm gonna stay in our territory to get additional health regen. Because when you're in your own territory, you gain an extra six. <coughs> the overseers give us biological recovery. That's interesting. That's really good. I didn't actually know they did that. Okay, so now that we completed Objective a quest, everybody's going to yell at us. 30 research at this stage is solid, so I'm going to grab that. Uh, and we need to get the diplomatic for cities going. Um, I got the food. I'm going to get the, the doctrine next. We got another quest. Um, okay. <clears throat> We think like humans do, but our instincts are keener. Sometimes these sensations can be overwhelming and disorienting. Some of us uh, give in to these sensations, but they become feral and won't listen to reason. 
They even hurt our own pack mates. We cast them out and they keep attacking us. It pains us to see them like it, but free them from their bloodlust. Okay. Oh, I didn't check on the other side of the map, so it looks like we're going to be bouncing left to right, left to right. Oh well. So, I, uh, I apologize, I actually didn't read the, the rest of that Paragon quest at all, so <laughs> that was my bad um, when it comes to that. There's a unidentified force in the darkness there. Hopefully they won't come for us. If they do, uh, we should be able to found the city before they meet us. And then if that's the case, um, we'll be able to retake the city when we're done here. Okay. All right. Ooh, we got our first, uh, <laughs> our first wonderful, um, uh, event. Um, we're everybody has less production and everything's on fire wonderful so it was a roving stack um there's not really much we could do about it so what i'm gonna do is just kind of take the l on it we can't really gain anything so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna gain as much research as i can <laughs> and uh i'm gonna actually generate research too All right, so that should uh, basically, when they come to take us, we should be able to get a little benefit out of the city before we have to come back and retake it. All right, so happiness let's just queue through these. Colony. We got our happiness event of 56 production. We're doing good there. Um, we want to eventually turn this into the uh, agricultural export center and start sharing it with our other colonies. Uh, but I'm gonna update the food first and then grab this. Uh, oh gosh, yeah. We have the, we have that production problem, huh? That's not ideal. <laughs> Empire task completed. Alright, cool. So we got Emperor, or, I'm sorry, we got Builder, uh, as the Empire task, um, Pioneer, so that doesn't surprise me. Uh, I guess what surprises me is the way we got it. Uh, because uh, we actually built a colony. I was expecting to be able to get one just from kind of claiming this here. Uh, this other city here. Hmm. I could aggressively settle forward. But no, I'm not going to do that. Unless I know about the NPC, the better right now. There we go. <laughs> so hopefully we got that research from there before we have to go and retake it All right, let's go ahead and clear these guys awesome Objective we're doing really completed. good so so far so good we haven't uh, taken the casualties I was expecting to we researched the diplomatic nicety so I'm gonna invoke that doctrine here shortly and then what I'm gonna do is uh, our next exploitation is probably going to be agricultural but in this other city, it might be uh, production-oriented. So I'm going to do that next as our research. Okay. The Ravages of Time. <clears throat> as the last heirs of the Star Union, it is one of our many duties of the Paragon to uphold the cultural and technological legacy of our ancestors. We have witnessed the decline of the Dark Age and must commit ourselves to favor the f those few that show there can still be no knowledgeable and civilized people in this rotten era. The question is, Rasslin Wire, will you be one of them? Yeah, yeah, sure, we'll make you some prosthetic limbs. <laughs> Alright, so we'll grab Empire another one. Empire task of those. completed. Ooh, emissary. Operations available for priming. I think I want emissary first, and then I want mobile diplomats. Oh, I'm going to grab this operational effectiveness. Yeah, to get the extra um, doctrine slot, because we need builder as well. Objective completed. Oh, yeah, I did complete this, huh? Oh, but production's good right now. Awesome. Okay, so now we're friends with both the Therians and the... Um, Paragon, so once we get those diplomatic niceties uh, cast, uh, we're going to be in a good spot with them. Yeah, I did lose that city, but that's what happens when you aggressively expand early. 
was kind of surprised at how quick it was. Normally it doesn't happen that brutally, but it's all right. All right, so here we go. Cool, so let's go end this tragedy. I have some guys that are injured. Do I want to wait another turn? No, I'm gonna take no casualties. Amazing. You know, sometimes you just keep winning. All right, so we're gonna to talk to these syndicate people and we're gonna make them our friends. Turn it into a colonizer. Uh, I wanna send them south. Like, just kinda of make them settle right here in the cold sands. Uh, Oh, you can't settle in the gold sands. If we settle too far forward, we're going to get into trouble with the NPCs. If I settle on the other side. So if I go, actually, to the Thief's Goalie. That's going to take something from this city. Yeah, I kind of hate it. Alright. Whatever. I'm going to just make it easy. I'm going to grab that... Um, this city right here in the sludge swamp and uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it work uh this might actually become a food hub as well uh and then what i'll do is i'll switch over our capital or i'll keep it and just kind of shoot up really tall maybe build another uh, colonizer or something crank out some more ah yes so dwarf vigo is now here to join us uh in his in his crusade so let's go ahead and recruit him um that's going to be very helpful. Uh, yeah. Now what do I want him to do? I want him to replace this runner. So we're going to have our second scout go out. And then what we're going to do is kind of move, move around like this. So we got that done. We're going to claim our landmark with influence. And I'm going to move Dorfigo down to try and meet up with our commander. <coughs> Okay, we already have uh, Vitality. We have some level. Uh, we have a level to spend here. I like grabbing Infantry Commander, even though I think long term it's not going to be the right play. Uh, yeah, let's just do it. Um, okay, cool. So that Infantry Commander is going to help us uh, with uh, our kind of final stacks here. I think what I'm going to do with my Commander is... Uh, kind of keep it with like some siphoners and a few other people uh Therians are demanding you roam around doing what you want ignoring us and our wishes throwing us a, throw us a bone here at least some cosplay uh i'm gonna accept it because it gives us both reputation and favor and i'm not really using the cosmite right now i i do but i don't oh cool so here's a uh a quest uh specific to the galaxy mode hunt the oath breakers uh, an oath-bound seer has come to us with a request. Intelligence suggests that the oath breakers have been located on this planet. For the good of all, we offer you this quest. Kill them. Spread their remains so that they will be forever lost and their corruption can be spread no further. They don't sound like the good guys to me, but you know what? I can, uh, I can work for a favor. Uh, yeah. All right. We got six turns to get over there, and then we got ten turns to kill that guy, and eight turns to build some cross DCs. So, what we're gonna do is up, down, all around. I guess, yeah, this is not optimal. Because <laughs> we can get there so much faster than poor little Dwarf Vigo's legs can take him. Oh, never mind, he can go there. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're going to merge up with old Dwarf Vigo, and we're going to get over here. We're going to clear these guys out, and then we're going to swing back, kill those Oath Breakers. Spread their remains so that none uh, may find them ever again. All right, we're going to find our next colony and lose it to this uh, probing stack here. Oh no, that looks like a spawner. That's perfect. That'll give us some time to actually reinforce. Um, here, I generated knowledge, so I actually forgot to choose their um, build last turn. Um, yeah, I'm going to build centralized science. I, I think that's the right play here. Um, I don't have the infrastructure yet. I have to make sure to research that after we get done with our siphoners. Okay. So, moving on down. 
and scouting around. All right, so we found uh, some production resources, and we're surrounded by ocean. This is a continent. I can't remember. Ah, yes, Michael Valentine. Nice to meet you. What do we got? Dislikes party animals. <laughs> Wants to avoid wars. Okay, well, that's good. We'll keep an eye on him. If we need to, we'll eliminate him. Ooh, a second hit to our faction, but you know what? I'm gonna accept it. Doctrine enacted. And we got our diplomatic niceties, which is excellent, because now we get uh, 30 gold or energy a turn, and we're getting an additional two. Uh, actually, we're getting an additional four uh, influence from that piece, so that's solid. Okay, so we got the Siphoner Awakening. I kind of want to get some quintessence arcs going eventually, but yeah, right now, uh, I think I want to go up and get some collars, but this Holy Presence is actually better. This is going to give us a, uh, a strategic spell uh, that we can cast to heal our guys, and I think that's going to be very handy. Um, all right, let's keep it moving. Uh, here... Yeah, I mean, they're going to have access to food. I I wonder if I can... No, it's un uninhabitable. Food, residential... I can turn it into something useful eventually, but I think food's going to be its best bet. Okay. Turn that. All right, and then we'll just keep scouting. Now that they found us, we can go, into a, go do our business here. Oh, that was a roving stack. I thought it was a spawner. Cool. Get some research from a crash ship. All right. And we're going to annex another sector. So uh, I can annex another food sector. Uh, I think I'm going to just kind of stick to the top sectors here. Uh -huh. I can't annex that. So you know what? I'm going to go for water then. Um, here. And we're gonna call it uh, call it good. All right. So um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, end this one video here. Um, we made some good progress on the beginning. We have three colonies now. We have uh, you know we met our ally or I guess our our first uh, NPC. Uh, I'm not sure. It looks like we're gonna go to war with them eventually. Um, so I would probably expect that. But yeah, right now we're just still kind of cleaning up. Uh, so when we come back, we'll uh, kind of continue on with uh, this particular planet. I think things are going very well. See you there. Bye.